and we're in the home from home unit at the moment in room seven. We're going to showcase this type of pain relief because it's very popular with a lot of our women coming through and birth partners as well really enjoy using this type of pain relief. As you can see, the pool has been full. Uh, we have checked the temperature, which should be between 36 and 37 degrees. And we have Jill here, who is an aquanatal um, teacher, and she's going to demonstrate positions in and out of the pool and how we can use it to our advantage. So why are women really keen about using the water as a form of pain relief? Well, when you get into the water, it's a sense of buoyancy. Gravity no longer is pulling down the weight of the womb. And the women feel very easy and free and relaxed and empowered to be into the water. So to best utilise the power of water in the early stages when you're at home, you can use a bath or warm shower, absolutely. And then when you're coming through and the birth journey is continuing and you're in the active phase of your labour, so usually more than four centimetres dilated, having those regular strong rhythmic surges, then the water pool would be ideal as a form of pain relief. Very soothing and calm. Um, when the women get into the pool, you can put on a bikini top, you can wear a short t-shirt, or you can wear nothing at all. Whatever you feel comfortable with, you're in control. And your birth, your birth partner is very welcome to get into the pool as well. So what we're gonna do first of all is show how the ladies get into the pool by using our step ladders. Okay, okay Jill. So up onto the step. Mm -hmm. And then one more if you can, and just holding on to the bath. Lovely, and then when you feel you're able to, that is fantastic, nice and gentle, and steadying yourself and into the pool. So there's different shapes of pools. This is an absolutely massive pool, which is fantastic. And I want you to show you how to go from front to back. When the mother is in labour, in the pool, she'll find a natural instinct of wanting to move nice and slowly through the water. So as I'm showing here, there's handles uh, for squat poses, kneeling poses. And it's easy enough just to roll back because the gravity, there's no gravity, so you, it's easier to move into onto your back. The main thing is that you will want to keep moving. If you just stay in one place, it's not really doing the best for you, okay? We can move from side to side, and these are hip openers, so you're opening your one hip and closing the other, lifting the knees up and rocking to the other side. These are gentle hip opening movements, and there's plenty of space in this bath to do this. I could go into the, sh the there's a little lip here, I could go and sit a little higher and do the same movements from side the side but once you're in the bath you will feel you want to move sort of quite organically uh, and flowing with your breath as you do these movements this movement here on one knee and one leg out it's like a half squat which opens the birth canal little gyrations of movement the circles with the hips in a gentle folding forward movement is conducive for the optimal fetal positioning. On both knees, leaning maybe arms over, you could use a towel to rest your head. And these movements of the hip, maybe go this side. So there's little circles, micro circles with your bottom. You'll feel what's good for you, what loosens the lower back, opens the pelvis. You could do a, figure, a little smiley emoji face, moving from side to side. By using this side to side movement, you're working from the top of the, your head down to your coccyx. So as, you, as if you're wagging your tail, so you're moving from one side, working with the breath, move to the other side top to tail. Using your breath to flow this movement. Mm -hmm. 
coming back into a seated position. We can go into pelvic floor movements, okay? So as you breathe in, you tighten your pelvic floor. And as you release, maybe with sound, you open your pelvic floor. Breathing in, tighten, little micro move again, and exhale. Breathing in, breathing out, releasing. If you want to use the water for breathing techniques, you might want to get a little bit lower in the water. Um, just either blow on top of the water and you're watching the ripples. So as you start, just get your chin and your lips into the water and blow. And as you blow, you're following that ripple right till it gets to the end. So you start off with your first ripple and then follow up. This will help elongate your exhalation breath, okay? So breathing in, breathing out. Okay. You can put your full face in the water if you want to and listen to the sound of your voice as you're breathing out. You can just blow bubbles, but when you get strong surges, I advise your full face in the water and let it all go. You can even scream in the water and it, nobody can hear you, so, and it makes you feel great after. So breathing techniques are really handy in labour. Your midwife will tell you all about that. But especially in water, you can use the water to help with this. And breathing with sound, you will feel quite um, uh, connected with your body, making sound. So there's different sounds you can make with an out breath. So you're trying to make your, the exhalation longer. Uh, I would use a big ah, like an ah of delight. So breathing, fill the lungs and then ah. Ah. Or you could use ooh, this helps as well. Breathe in and then ooh. And then when you want to slow the journey down a little bit, you can do little pants or little, like as if you're blowing uh, a candle out on your fingers, but you can blow it into the water. So it's like little puffs. Another movement for your toolkit is water wheel. And this is like a little movement with your hands and you're going as fast as you can in the water as close to your bump as possible. You start at the top and you go down as fast as you can down to your perineum and you can stay down there as long as you want and then maybe work your way back up. What you're doing by this is a sonic massage for your baby and when they come out they love this movement too in, in their bath or if you get in the bath with your baby. But you can imagine the, the connection and view your baby in your mind's eye of their birth journey coming out and joining you. Maybe in the pool, maybe out. But this little sonic movement, the baby can react against it. They absolutely love this. this it's like a massage for them on the outside. The birth pool has a, a seated area for the partner, birthing partner. And they can sit up here and support the mother in the water. Okay, so this would be the, the birthing partner's position. Okay, so legs in. Um, yeah, hopefully you've got some sort of costume on. <laughs> okay, and these birth partner positions I'm going to show you now. So, Mama, thank you. This is my lovely birth partner here. And just to bear down 
And instead of holding on to your partner, you can hold on to a scarf or a towel or anything. And by having your arms higher than your head, holding on, I'm going to go into a squat position for this one. Okay, knees up. Your heels don't have to touch the ground. But you can bear down, pulling against the scarf, but not hurting your partner. Okay? And then release, breathe, and then bear down. One more time. Breathe. And exhale. By having your arms higher, this is usually near the end of the labour. It's helping to open your lower back up, okay? And that pressure is taken off because you're in the water. Okay, there's other movements you can use with partners. And I like to call it like dancing with your partner. Okay, I'm a bit wet, Mama, sorry. <laughs> so, as you're holding on, okay, you're just letting baby bump swing from side to side or your micro moves. You've got some nice music on, staring into eyes. Let the oxytocin fly through your body. Just relaxing, maybe into little circles. And this is really relaxing, maybe between contractions. This is a good position, yeah? Okay. And last one is uh, if they're squatting on their back, um, again, if the partner is in the water, they can they can hold here. If they're out of the water, they can put their arms underneath. Okay, and you've got the support of the, the walls as well, but it's just that little extra help as you bear down. You can just let yourself float, okay, and you can micro move like little circles or figure of eight in your hips. Okay, and just imagine the baby's journey down the birth canal. This is very relaxing. I could stay here forever. <laughs> okay. The main thing is just to keep moving in the water rather than just lie there forever. Okay? You'll want to listen to your body and your body will tell you when to turn, tune into your breathing. It, water is fantastic for giving birth in, or for part of your, your, your labour journey.